Hello again. Hello, all you beautiful, wonderful people. My name's Renee. Welcome to Gangalized Treasures. And as you can tell, we are in the garage. Again, still. And we are going to do part two today of the fall clothes haul. And if you're new to the channel, let me tell you a little bit about us. Me and my daughter and sometimes my husband are on thrifting adventures to see what kind of treasures we can find. Um, we have shoes, some clothes, some antiques, lots of vintage stuff. We just went to Hot Springs, Arkansas, brought back a lot of stuff from the antique mall. If you haven't seen that video, go back and see it. It's really fun because we're men and I are together. If you watch that one and then you watch one of me by myself and one of our men by ourselves, let us know which one of the three you like best. And so let's get started on part two. Part one, if you remember, we did everything from the John Deere sweatshirt all the way back. We finished with this beautiful, and that's my pantry back there. <laughs> this beautiful, heavy Izod jacket. Now, oh, that's on there backwards too. Oh my gosh, but it's so cute. I just had to, I had to pick it up. It has penguins on it. It's just adorable. Penguins, 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 penguins. It has a hood. It's got fuzzies inside the hood. It has a snap collar. It has strings. You can pull it. Where's the other string? Come on, string. This is hard to do one-handed. Anyway, there's another. Okay, and there's another string. You can pull it tight. Um, the print is just so cute. And you know, y'all know. Let me know in the comments so this it has purple and pink and green and blue and it's quite long actually um if i hold it up to my shoulders it would probably and i'm five seven and a half and it goes all the way down to my knees so it's a women's don't speak before you know for sure it is a women's extra large so it does fit me but winter is coming. There was a chill in the air this morning. It was 66 degrees outside, but it's like 80, 79 or 80 now. So it's like, <laughs> now it's hot. Um, but there are no ta- No, bleh. <laughs> I'm a little tongue-tied. Sorry, because this is just so cute. <laughs> no tears, no stains, no rips, no fraying. Nothing missing. And it is listed in our store okay woohoo football 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 pittsburgh football oh how did i get all those on there backwards i don't know how i did that anyway steelers i don't know if y'all are steelers fans i'm not a steelers fan if you know me you've been watching it all nc chiefs but it's not gonna keep me from buying a steelers shirt so that you can have a Steelers shirt and support your team. But we'll beat you on the field. It is a medium, men's uh, medium. Again, this I bought, I'm, I'm for sure, because there's two Steelers things and I bought both of them at Goodwill. I bought these at Goodwill. They were $5.99. And again, it's like it's never been worn. There's No chips, no cracks. <laughs> That's what I say for my ceramics. No chips, no cracks. But for shirts, it's no tears, no holes, no stains, no fraying. Those are the four that you really want to, you want to have something that's going to sell easy. Of course, if you get like this, the uh, excursion coat that I got, you get it home and it has a little problem, you just disclose it. You would never want to hide something because if you don't put it in the description, and somebody buys it and then they find it, they're going to send it back to you. And it's going to end up costing you money. So it's not worth it. So, Steelers. Okay, this is a round tree and, and York. Extra large men's. It is that wonderful neutral color. It has the zipper and the buttons. It'll keep you extra warm and cozy when you're coming up. Um kind of um it's thicker than a t-shirt but not thick like a not thick like a jacket 
And again, the cuffs are just absolutely perfect. It just looks like it hasn't been worn. And uh, one of the guys that I follow on Instagram, same on the bottom, he says, we we're lucky enough to live in a country where we are so blessed and so overly abundant that people can get rid of stuff that, that they haven't worn or haven't used. And then resellers get the privilege to be able to resell it to somebody else who wants it and will use it. One of the things that I really like about reselling. This is an extra, extra large 2G, 2TG, loose fitting cold gear under armor. And it is not as thick as the IZOD one. The IZOD one is definitely one you could wear out if it was snow flurries. This is a little lighter, more like fall right now where we are. It is a beautiful dark blue. Um, there are no pockets. It's loose on the bottom. Kind of comes a little A-line, um, but the size is really nice. Again, the cuffs are clean. The bottom is clean. The edging is clean. Um, the zipper works. It looks, it looks brand new. It just doesn't have the tags. And here is my other Pittsburgh Steeler item. Let's get that up there on the... This is a black sweatshirt. Nice and long. And I don't know if you can see that. I, I can't see that because I don't have my glasses on. So let's look at it together. From the Pro Line Fanatics Extra Large. So this would be, this is a men's extra large. It would be big on me. But again, it's, it, this one does have the hand warmer pockets, um, which makes it nice. You could at least put your cell phone in there and carry it around there and still be able to count your steps. Again, just like all the others, the cuffs are just super clean. There's, oh, you know what? I found something. I'm going to have to go back and adjust my, my description. There's a little spot right there. I know I washed it, but I will do that. Take the price down a couple of dollars, but it's in the back. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna see that. So I paid five ninety five for this, five fifty nine, something like that, and um, they are eighty nine or ninety dollars brand new. This is a Coleman jacket. This one is probably vintage, but I didn't know for sure. So I didn't list it as vintage. Um, if you like the Coleman, please let me know in the comments how to tell the difference between a vintage Coleman and a new one. It is a size medium. And again, um, pointed collar buttons. The buttons are still on the pockets, super clean. Cuffs are clean, all the buttons are still there, no fraying, no threads are missing, and quilted. If it had been just a regular Coleman, just a shirt, I probably wouldn't have got it, but because it's quilted the, and the colors just say fall, 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 fall. This would look beautiful on someone and whether they're going to go a walk in the woods, um, sit around the fire pit in the evening or I mean you could even if you work someplace cold um, my husband works in a, um, a room that is kept rather cold and so he always likes the quilted things like this he can wear a t-shirt underneath and if he gets too hot he can take it off and our last thing is backwards woohoo look at this one oh it's falling off the hanger it's probably not a good hanger for that one now, I don't even know how to pronounce that, and I don't want to pronounce that and pronounce it wrong. So, it is extra large, men's, does have a tearaway label, but the label is still there, which is nice. There are no pockets. Um, again, all the cuffs are clean, and it has these beautiful leather patches on 
no, suede. It's these beautiful patches on the elbows, patches on both sleeves, and it's gray inside, so you get it as the red, but then you have the gray and the brown. Again, um, the zipper works. It does have this cool little brown up and down on, on the zipper, and again, it's just super clean, and it's all been listed. So let's take that back. And don't forget about that shirt, that jacket. I think it's so cool. And we had our Amsterdam, our Eddie Bauer, our Winter Mate, the Rue 21, Nebraska Corn Huskers, the Arrow, Excursion, Pink, Pink, Rhoda Lynn, Tech Gear, I think, I don't remember what that one was, and our John Deere. Push them all up that way. Now that you guys have seen all of them, they will not um, stay on these hangers. Um, what I will do for ease of storage is I will go ahead and fold them up and put them in the poly bag that they're going to be shipped in. That way I can go through my listings and I can check the weight, make sure that I have the weight right. Um, shipping is, this should just be a class on it because it's very easy to mess it up. And when you do drafts, make sure you go through everything. I messed up big time on, I sold the um, fine porcelain vase. One of the ones that we got when we were in hot springs and i had it in draft just went in oh it's in draft oh it's done send it out i had it marked to send it in an envelope there's no way that a vase it was um 10 or 12 inches tall was going to fit in in an envelope let alone be safe it was going to california and so the buyer ended up paying shipping for it and then when I took it to the post office, I ended up paying shipping for it. They they won't change the labels. Once the label's on, it's... You gotta really know what you're doing for the shipping. But, so all of these will be in poly bags. They will they will all have numbers. Some of, One of them had a number. Some of them already have numbers on them. But they will have a number on them. And then I'm just gonna put them in my file cabinet. And I'll just have to go look for that number and pull that number double check, make sure that the right thing is in the bag and fold it, fold it down, put the label on it, ship it out. So thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, go ahead and do that now so that you don't miss any of our future uh, videos. I'm sure Romanda has some great videos coming up. She is on a hundred dollar challenge. We'll see what she can do with that. Um, and I think that's about it. I could go into, I could talk all day about shipping or about shoes, but we really don't have the time to do that. But that's one of the reasons why we'd like you to like and subscribe because right now YouTube doesn't really consider us a, a real channel because we don't have 100 subscribers. So once we get to 100 subscribers, then we can do longer videos. But as always, remember, that you are blessed to be a blessing. So go out and make today a great day.